Hi, Larry Morey. If you get back here, I'd appreciate it. At home right now, it's about 9.30. Here it's about 10, 10.30. Everybody has cell phones today. Ah, maybe Shanley's back with me. We'll see. Hello. When I got on the phone, they're always sweet as pie because I'm the boss. But I feel that in the main that if something is wrong, I took care of it. The internet now gives you critiques of landlords. And I'm a very bad guy in the critiques. Some of them are very angry at me because I barge in on them, they say. Well, I only barge in when there's a problem. But I'm trying to be good now and call beforehand to tell them I'm coming. Do you want to have an extra piece around? You said you need one piece or two piece for that dryer. I need, uh, I, I can change this cost, Ken. Okay. Well, if my dad were alive today and to see what I've progressed to, considering where I came from uh, with uh, no money whatsoever, he would, he would be very proud of me. And uh, I know when I, right after I bought the building, I went a block away and I'm standing back looking and saying, my God, I can't believe I own that building. A 19-story building, can't believe it. 124 apartments, it was really something. Oh, you like to eat too much. You see, the problem is your wife. That's it. You got to trade her in for someone who can't cook. Yeah. <laughs> no. I know this gentleman 20 years, wouldn't you say? Oh, good 20 At years. At least 20 yeah. years. Yeah. 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 The most, you know, I deal with all kinds of people. So uh, it's the most honest, straightforward businessman you'll ever meet. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. So I tried to fix smart. Not fix cheaply, but fix smart. I'm into the building so that people say, Maury's a good guy, and if Maury says he's gonna do something, he's gonna do it, and he does it. And my name is Maury, it's not Mr. Liebling, it's not some guy, that son of a bitch, and you know, all he wants is money and stuff. I mean, I, I don't wanna be, be, be thought of that way, and it hurts me when somebody gets upset about me with some things. Then I'm trying to do a good job and provide a service. That's what I'm trying to do. And I make money in doing it, that's wonderful. But, uh, and, and there's, a lot of, there's a lot of risk involved what I do, naturally. But uh, as you progress along, the risk is less because you've got more behind you. When I first started out, there was nothing there. There was no money. My life's work has been um, providing for my family. Gonna cry. <laughs> like, I know how to fix a faucet. I know all the steps that are involved and what makes the faucet work right. What's a good way of doing it? What's a cheap way of doing it? And if you do it the right way, and you don't have to come back and fix it again, it's not going to break right away. And with dealing with people in life, if you understand this, and if you're basically good at heart anyway, and you're a good person, you'll learn more of how to deal with people better. Provide for the family. That's, that was it. Take care of the family. <laughs>